What is up guys, Rick Staggs here and welcome to my channel where I'm building a Lamborghini Diablo 60 replica from the ground up while using a Lamborghini Murcielago V12 six speed gated drivetrain. And today's video is going to be about some of the parts that I'm using and just some of the um, problems and obstacles that I'm facing while using those parts. As you can see, I did change the name of my channel to American Built Exotics and I will be making a official introduction video to my channel shortly. I did build a sign in the background, as you can see, that's out of stainless steel. It came out awesome. Um, really pleased with how that turned out. Um, and again, official video coming soon, maybe. We'll see. So um, I'm, on this project, I'm using mostly OEM parts, and most of them are actually from uh, Mercy Lago parts. Um, I buy Mercy Lago parts because they're more common than Diablo parts and more affordable. I use that term loosely because Diablo parts are rarer, um, they're older, and they're much more difficult to get. They're more expensive. Um, and so that's why I, I'm using a lot of Mercy Lago parts on this project. Um, so uh, the, the Diablo 60 and the first gen. Mercy Lago actually shares a lot of the same parts. They're very common, they're interchangeable. Um, and so I really tried to buy a lot of those first gen parts for my build because they, they are interchangeable. With uh, the Mercy Lago, they actually had three um, basic builds. They had the, the first gen, an updated um, gen, and then the LP640. Um, some of those are interchangeable with each other, some of them are not. Um, and again, I've tried to buy more of this first gen or updated one. So we'll go ahead and go over some of the parts on this. Here's an overview of my project and how it sits currently. There's the big beast right now, a little dirty, needs to be cleaned. I did pick up a excess power battery which I do need to change the installation of it because you can see this bracket here is hitting the oil coolant line. But what I'm working on right now here is the steering column. And this came out of a 2005 Murcielago. Um, I bought that a couple years back. Um, these things are really nice, very well built, high quality, I'm pleased with it. Um, and so it was out of a 2005 which I looked at Lamborghini parts list and it showed that it was the updated one which still used the same key ignition as the first gen or as the Diablo. And so I ordered a ignition switch for um, the Diablo or first gen Mercy Lago. And you can see it's just an off the shelf TRW part that Lamborghini throws in their package. And you know, up short, up sells it. Here's the keys and tumblers. You can see the keys are just normal keys that Lamborghini probably in-house made their molds for. So I got that. I went to go put it on and sure enough it doesn't fit. The bracket, the mounting bracket is on top, not the side. So this is actually an LP640 style. I don't know where the screw up got if I looked up the parts wrong that it could be an error on my part but whatever whatever the issue is um, I got the wrong ignition so I ended up buying a used LP640 ignition um, which when I, I bought it from Euro Spares and I got it and actually had a Gallardo tag on it again because Lamborghini parts are interchangeable with other other models and you can see this fits on here quite nicely. But that pre presents a few other problems. Um, one, which isn't that big of a deal, you know, the key isn't aesthetically correct or accurate. I would rather have had the Diablo key. Um, that's not that big of a deal. But uh, the issue is, so I have this key to start my car, this key um, to unlock the doors, and then probably an aftermarket security system key fob to 
unlock the doors you know automatically um, so then I have you know three different key sets which is kind of annoying we'll have to figure that out but so one of the things here with this this is a, the bigger problem this is chipped and programmed and locked to whatever car this came out of and it's locked to um, the computer the fuel pumps and and the security system and once these are programmed you can never ever unlock them or change them and so that that presents a little bit of a problem uh, moving forward this is a little bit easier to um, bypass so I'll have to figure that out as far as the electrical system you can see I have the rear uh, wiring harness just laying in here right now here's a box this is the complete wiring harness for everything and then here I have the um, ECUs and um, fuse boxes so two ECUs for it if you look at this uh, um, this part number here this part number is actually in common with the Mercy Lago uh, updated version the LP 640 and the Gallardo um, I have a 2006 engine and if you look at the date it says right here 2007 so I I don't think those are the correct ECUs when I bought the engine they came with the engine um, with that date I think it's either it's an either an LP 640 or an, a Gallardo um, and the tune would be incorrect so I'm not an engine management guy um, I'll have to look into that a little bit more make some contacts with some people if ultimately I have to retune those um, I probably will not use them because it's a couple thousand dollars to have those have those flashed and I'll just go with a standalone system um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now hopefully I can get this thing uh, um, you know started soon that's that's been a been a goal um, to, to hear this it's been 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 a long time waiting but uh, that's what I got go got going on right now so if you guys like more videos like this of just kind of some of the details let me know I'll start making some more um, do leave a comment subscribe and you guys have a great day thanks for watching